What's up guys, it is your boy Jay and welcome to the 2023 Aston Villa FIFA 23 Rebuild. Also guys, 95% of you are not subscribed to this channel. So please remember to like, share and subscribe as it does help out the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so this is how it's going to work. So currently we have, you know, Unai Emery as manager. And he's been brilliant since he's come in. But we need to kind of expand on this. So the rule is, he's kind of been looking at signing La Liga players. So let's try and keep it as realistic as possible. And maybe sign some Villarreal youth, Villarreal players. That might be the best bet. And uh, I have made a little bit of a um, transfer listing. So I'm going to try and get rid of Young, Callum Chambers, Robin Olsen, Bertrand Fiore, Courtney Hoos, Morgan Sanson, Lena Dendonka, Marvellous Takamba, Keenan Davis, Wesley, Cine Salo, and Louis Barry, and Hayden Lindsay, and Sil Twinkles, and Zayek. And we're going to try and learn out Azaz, Christine, uh, Chuck Wemka, or Chuck Wemka. Cameron Archer, Bagard, Tommy O'Reilly, Joshua Feeney, Roy Wilson, and Caden Young. So I'll see you guys at the end of the transfer window. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the first player that we are going to sign in this Aston Villa rebuild is Nicholas Jackson from Villarreal for close to £13 million. Right, there we go. Good deal, good deal. But that's not the only deal. We have actually got something else in the pipeline because believe it or not, Villarreal actually do have some good youth players. So, um, dude, should, I, I think you understand the point. It's, it's Jeremy Pino. Uh, I'm making Bailey a left winger so then I can play this man a bit further on up. So uh, this man's going to get be starting like every week. That's going to be fine. Right, let's get him on a five-year deal because, you know, we're a good club. You know, we're, we're going to be fighting for Europe this season. Everything's good. I don't know how much to offer you. I might just go, like, 70k and then plus 100. That might be the best bet. Yep, there we go. I'll probably overpaid for the man, but uh, this is not Football Manager. This is FIFA. So, we have replaced Bertrand Traore, who have resold to Monaco, with Jeremy Pino for 77 million pounds but yes ladies and gentlemen the transfer window is over let's just go for the transfer stuff real quick so the only two players that we have bought in has been jeremy pino and nicholas jackson two fantastic signings so we've sold uh bertrand Traore to monaco but guard uh and ramsey and feeney went out on loan zayek sold concert sold duran got loaned out to the mls so we didn't do much but i'm kind of happy where things are lying so I'll see you guys at the end of the first season. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I have got to the end of the season now where we have finished in a respectable ninth with 15 wins. So we've got more wins than losses. Um, brilliant. Right, time to have a look at how the squad did in terms of growth. Kamara 3, Pino 4, Bailey 3, Cash 3, Louise 4, Jackson went up by 4-2. So you know what? This season, I actually think went okay. It actually did good. But next season, um, we just got to focus on maybe increasing the team and actually signing some good players this time. Let's get to season number two. This might be the biggest rebuild that anyone's ever done on a YouTube video. Right, let's just go to transfers because we're going to be here for a while. So, let's just get through them. So, Keenan Davis went to Monza. Brindia went to Chelsea. And Nakamba went to Nice. Coutinho went to Juventus. Olsen went to Bologna. Sanson went to... Latium, Caden Young went out on loan, Wesley went to Galatasaray, uh, Ira Buna went on loan, Watkins went to Uni Berlin, Hoos went to PSV, Asaz went to Besiktas, Wilson went on loan, Mings went out, Hayden went out on loan, Ramsey did, then Donker left, Archer left, and this is where the transfers come in. Nico Williams. Some guys that I had to sign for the objective, don't worry about these. Del Polinia, we've actually been linked with this guy for like 60 million, so I thought, screw it. Uh, Arno Martinez, we signed as a backup to Cash. Uh, Samuel Illing Jr., who we've been linked with, scored for Juventus over the weekend of this recording. Uh, we signed Paul Torres and we signed Daniel Perillo. So basically, Villarreal slash targets. 
But look at this team now. Look at this team. I love it. I, I legit actually do love this team now. So we got the players. Let's just do what we got to do. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're at the end of the season. We've got one more game coming up against Manchester United where we draw it, which means that we have now reached the end of the season where we finish in eighth place. Just one place of Europe, and I know next season we can do it. I know next season we can do it. So how are we looking like? Everyone went up. Oh, uh, Pino wants a new contract. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, but Pino went up, Torres went up, Kamara went up. See, we're building a team. See, this this is team building. This is team building. So next season, we just got to carry on building, basically. Okay, this has got to be the season where we get something. Let's go into the transfers. So, uh, we loaned out Illing Jr. to Florentina. Got rid of McGinn, got rid of Christine, got rid of Agard, got rid of Feeney, got rid... Um, Learned out assault some people. We bought in Harry Maguire. Reason I remember there was a picture of him in like a Birmingham restaurant, and then um, people thought he was signing for the Villa. <laughs> Jokes. Uh, we've also signed Tammy Abraham, Villa legend. Well, Villa Championship legend, and we signed War Prowse. That was basically really all we just needed to sign. We just needed to upgrade this team a bit, and I believe we have done that literally quite well. In fact, I believe that War Prowse could even become a starter. In this team if we just play our cards right like so yeah i'm fine with that so ladies and gentlemen i'll see you guys at the end of the season okay i've had to make a quick pit stop um halfway through the season because we've got liverpool in the carabao cup final please 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 Ladies and gentlemen, we have won our first title under Unai Emery Ball as we have beaten Liverpool for the Carabao Cup and we were 10 men, 10 men down. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, um, okay, so all we got to just keep doing now is just keep going to the end of the season. There you go. Carabao Cup. Fantastic. Fantastic. Beautiful result. Okay, we've got a match against Leicester. Third versus fourth. We really need to win this. I, I, I want Champions League football. I'm not going to lie. I want Champions League football. And it's Champions League football that we are officially getting. We've cooked. We've actually cooked. Even even if we do not win the Champions League next season, I can happily confirm that we finished second in the league. Second in the league. Wow. Um. But with this team, I'm not surprised. Like, I haven't even really broken that many, like, realism rules. And yet we've got second in the league. That's fantastic. Um, let me just check the stats real quick. Uh, I haven't really been checking these. Bailey, 22 goals. My goat. My goat. Right. Uh, so we're going to say goodbye to Perejo as well as he's just out the door. We've got to sign a new centre bid next season too because we need to grow that midfield. I'll see you guys in the next season. Right, we've only made one signing, legit, just one transfer. That, that's all that happened. It was just one transfer. Uh, literally, Sanchez. That's it, just Sanchez. But we can uh, spend some time by looking at our Champions League group, which consists of Martial, uh, Club Bruges, and Freynoid. Okay, I'll see you guys if I qualify past the group stages. Right, we have our first round of 16, and it is up against Celtic. In some ways, I'm... Okay, yeah, um, should I be worried about this, really? I mean, we should be okay. I don't see why we shouldn't be okay, but I think we should be okay. Right, let's just skip to the second leg. Uh, while we're here, can you please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, as it does help out the channel. Thank you very much. I know you probably heard that once already in this video. But screw it. Right, second leg, we should be okay just to carry on. Right, how are we looking? How are we looking? How are we looking? Just about. Guys, can we not do that? Okay, fine, fine. We, we, get, we go through. We go through. I'm not mad about it. I am not mad about it. Right, where is the next fixture? It is not announced yet, so let's just skip like a week or two. We get knocked out of the cup, which is fine. How do we do against Tottenham? Okay, we beat Tottenham. That's fine. That's fine. 
Oh, it's Liverpool. Okay, we've beaten Liverpool once in competition. But the thing is, can we beat them twice? That is the only thing I'm worried about. Right, here we go. First leg against Liverpool. They scored twice, but we scored three times. That's all that matters, is that we actually got a result. A good result. But I feel like Liverpool won that game even though we won. But all we got to do is just keep on going. All we got to do is just keep on going. That's all we just need. That's just to keep on going. Just to keep on going. We did it. 5-3 on aggregate as we move on to the next round of the Champions League. Semi-finals. You know, I just feel like after beating Liverpool, I feel like it should just get easier from here, to be honest. Except if you're facing one of the best teams in the world in Real Madrid. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where I might as well just say um, good night to one and all. Right, first leg. <sighs> Come on, guys. Please. Please. Oh, my God. No way. No way. I'm actually going to do it. I'm actually going to do it. There is no way that I'm actually going to do it. Dude, there is no way. There's no way. Come on, please. That means i got to play a game of football. Oh, no. Okay. We lose to Bournemouth. I genuinely don't care. I genuinely do not care at the minute. We could be getting Champions League football. Come on, please. Please, please. Yes, 5-2 against Real Madrid. Oh, my God. Oh, good. Okay, we've got PSG in the final. So, let's get to the final between Aston Villa and PSG. Okay, and here are the lineups. So, for Aston Villa, it's Martinez, Cash, Conza, Torres, Moreno, Palinia, Kamara, Sanchez, Pino, Abraham, and Bailey. So, we kept 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 people. No, seven people. Eight people from the original lineup. That's nice. And for PSG, it's Dani Ruma, Hakimi, Ibanez, Marquinhos, Rudiger. Oh, they're playing five at the back. Ruiz, Moreno, Savage, Osman, and Mbappe. Let's just go for it. Let's go for it. Abraham. Abraham. Go on, lad. And in the 23rd minute... Abraham has scored against PSG in the Champions League final. This is fantastic. Straight through to Abraham, who just bangs it in the top of the net. 1-0. <gasps> no way. No way. That worked. That what? Wait, what? Um, Bailey has scored the second goal in the Champions League final, but I don't know what happened. So, someone crossed it in. The PSG defence just decided to become a League One side, and it's now 2-0 to Aston Villa. All right, it's half-time here. And there is actually one thing that I am going to do. I'm going to make all five subs now, but what I'm going to do is that I am going to revert back to the 4 2 Because... Wait, no, you didn't play a 4 2 2 You played like a 4 4 2 Something like that. No, it was something... No, it was this. It was this. It was this. It was this. Okay, all I'm going to do... I'm going to bring on Jackson. I'm going to bring on Williams. I'm going to bring on Digne. I'm going to bring on Martinez. And I'm going to bring on Illing Jr. Second half. Let's go. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. What an absolute play to Polinia. And it's 3-0. It's 3-0. It's done. It, it's done. This rebuild is now officially done. I'll see you guys for the trophy celebrations. Ladies and gentlemen, we've won the Champions League.